This is Vinay. Now we are discussing about homomorphic filtering. It is a type of process of image enhancement. Homomorphic filtering is a generalized technique for signal and image processing, which is involving a nonlinear mapping to a different domain in which linear filter techniques are applied, followed by mapping back to the original domain. So here, original image is being processed, which is mapped to a different domain, and then a linear filter is being applied at the end. Original image needs to be constru constructed. Homomorphic filtering simultaneously normalizes the brightness across an image and increases the contrast. Let's see illumination reflectance model. An image can be modeled as the product of illumination function and the reflectance function at every point, which is given by i of x comma y equal to l of x comma y into r of x comma y. You need to understand this before understanding what is the procedure via which an original image can be reconstructed via homomorphic filtering. So what is IR model? You have to study it that an image model can be represented mathematically as a product of illumination function and reflectance function. What is illumination? Light falling on an object is known as illumination and light reflecting from an object is known as reflectance. The IR model can be used to address the problem of improving the quality of an image that has been acquired under cool illumination conditions. Like, there is a problem of light and you have clicked an image which is dark in nature. Or sometimes you have taken an image, there are variety of noise that the image was blurred. So this type of image quality can be improved. For many images, the illumination is the primary contribution to the dynamic range and varies slowly in space. While the reflectance component represents the details of object edges and varies rapidly in space. These characteristics lead to associating the low frequencies of the Fourier transform of the logarithm of an image with illumination, the high frequencies with the reflectance. Let us see the basic idea of homomorphic filtering. The idea of homomorphic filter is to separate these components and apply two different transfer functions to have more control, which is taken over and accordingly, image can be processed so it affects the original image, which is f of x comma y equal to i of x comma y into r of x comma y. The problem with Fourier transform is that the product of two functions is not separable. We know that the Fourier transform cannot be defined for product of two functions and it is not separable in nature. Fourier transform of complex image is not equal to the Fourier transform of illumination into Fourier transform of reflectance. So Fourier transform cannot be applied here. Let's see the procedure for applying homomorphic filtering. The step one includes log function is applied to the image so that it can be expressed as the sum of its illumination and reflectance components, which is z of x comma y equal to ln of f of x comma y, which is equal to log of i of x comma y plus log of r of x comma y. The next step is applying Fourier transform to the log of these components f of z of x comma y equal to f of log of f of x comma y which is equal to f of log of i of x comma y plus f of log of r of x comma y or z of u comma v equal to f i of u comma v plus f r of u comma v. And the step 3 will be processing z of u comma v by means of filter function h of u comma v. So design filters separately for the illumination and reflectance components. Transfer function of filters can be different for two components, which is s of u comma v equal to h of u comma v into z of u comma v, which is equal to h of u comma v into f i of u comma v plus h of u comma v into f r of u comma v, where s of u comma v is the Fourier transform of the result.
In next step, the spatial domain apply inverse Fourier transform to the filtered image. S of x comma y equal to f inverse of s of u comma v, which is equal to f inverse of h of u comma v into f i of u comma v plus h of u comma v into f r of u comma v, which is equal to f inverse of h of u comma v into f i of u comma v plus f inverse of h of u comma v plus into f r of u comma v, which is i dash of x comma y plus r dash of x comma y. And the last step includes offset the logarithmic applied in step 1, apply the anti-log function to recover the original image. g of x comma y equal to e power s of x comma y, which is equal to e power i dash of x comma y into e power r dash of x comma y, which is equal to i naught of x comma y into r naught of x comma y, where i naught of x comma y and r naught of x comma y are the illumination and reflectance components of the output image. The enhancement approach using homomorphic filtering is summarized in given figure because you know that homomorphic filtering is generally used for image enhancement to vary the brightness to vary the contrast. So it has numerous applications for the image enhancement in number of fields. What are the application areas where homomorphic filtering is applied? It is used for removing multiplicative noise that has certain characteristics and can be identified very nicely. It is also used in correcting non-uniform illumination in images. It can be used for improving the appearance of grayscale image. So these are the major applications in which homomorphic filtering is used. All these five steps is summarized into a shown diagram. Thank you.